Hello, hello， 各位，欢迎来嚟到我哋呢个 virtual 嘅简介，讲 masters in sports physiotherapy。我我想问下在座每一位系咪都广东话系可以噶<笑> ？OK， 诶、uh, ，好，我我谂诶。就講講解下，咁我最尾都會 conduct 人英文嘅，因為我可能有其他唔同嘅人會入嚟啦。咁誒、嗯，我叫 Howard， 大家好。咁我就今日代表誒、uh, Professor Amy Fu 咧，就誒同、uh, 大家做一個簡介 ，on 我哋嘅 Sports Physiotherapy Program 係 in Masters Level 嘅。咁事不宜遲啦，咁我哋開始啦。咁其實個 program 咧誒、uh, 本身係誒、uh, hosted by 我哋。Professor, so Professor Amy Fu is our associate head, RS.、Um, she is the research institute、um, rehab coordinator. She's a medical advisor from the Judo Association, Kofu Association. She's also a clinic director, and she's been a physiotherapist for Olympics and national games over the years.、Um, I'm Howard. I'm an assistant professor of practice here at Poly U.、Um, I am one of the lecturers、um, for the Masters in Sports Physiotherapy program. I also、uh, am the coordinator for any sports teams、um, physiotherapy support at Poly U. I'm currently doing my PhD.、Um, my past experience: I have worked. Been working with the、um, Chi Chinese Judo team, women's team, which I traveled with them to the Asian Games last year. Um, previously, my work is in basketball.、Um, as some of you might follow basketball in Hong Kong, Eastern Long Lions. I was with them for a few years before coming working in here at Poly U. I did some football in the past at the Premier League with Southern. Also, was the、uh, senior sports physiotherapist for the cricket Hong Kong team, with which I travel with them to Asia Cups, to the World Cup qualifiers. I've done some work in tennis and golf in professional events, so that's a little bit about my background.、Um, our sports physiotherapy in Hong Kong is, I I would say, quite strong, because we definitely have the master's program, and we're driven by research, and we have services. As I said, we provide、uh, physiotherapy supports to our、um, Poly U, all all the Poly U teams as well. We provide. Physiotherapy support to、uh, national sports associations, which I will talk a little bit about how that relates to our program. So the Masters in Phys Sports Physiotherapy program aims to equip re rehabilitation professional with an advanced knowledge in sports physiotherapy and enable them to meet the changing needs of sports physiotherapy services. Now. Uh, we can proudly say we're the only postgraduate program on sports physiotherapy in Asia.、Um, there's only a few in Australia and UK,、um, so we we're very special to have that in Hong Kong, especially. So、uh, we do quite、uh, attract a lot of applicants to specialize in this particular discipline in physiotherapy. The program makeup is not just sports. I guess for people. That think about sports physio right away. Were you thinking about working with athletes? And don't get me wrong, you do need that skills, and that's where it translates.、Um, but the the ultimate goal is actually have an overall understanding on how sports impacts society. So as now, sports is getting younger and younger. The age of starting to play sports is much younger. So youth development is a huge one, and us sports physio, we do work. In the youth sector as well, to make sure we protect、um, young adolescents and kids to have a safe environment to play sports. Definitely, we serve the elites, but at the same time, the recreational and everyone in between. We need to understand people' physical backgrounds and、um, work with them to、um, see how then they can accommodate with, to the sports needs that they want. And the big one is, of course, elderly health.、Um, elderly is also aging is a big issue, and we all know that exercise helps. And sports physiotherapists、um, do have the responsibility to be able to work in the elf elderly settings. And actually, a lot of the people now, the elite athletes who retired, do pre preserve 
in that sector and continuing to exercise. And it is important for us to know and how to assist and be able to develop their exercise needs in that way. So our whole program is not just working with elite athletes, but all different types of sectors. Sports Physio um, actually has the responsibility to uh, get into uh, the special group population, people with uh, chronic diseases, chronic pain, uh, women's health, women's in sport is a huge one these days. Uh, we definitely had COVID for the last few years. So how to manage in um, any um, epi um, type of viruses and cardiovascular issues, uh, we need to be able to um, understand, have the background to be able to prescribe exercise and get these people back into moving. Um, Paralympics, um, that's an other special population of elites that we do work with. And we need to understand their background and their conditions and how this, uh, what you learn and the concepts you have to be able to put these people into doing what they do best. So a very unique um, features about the program is we have a lot of opportunities. Um, the opportunities varies widely. Um, it's a bit different every year, but it's based around within this framework. Uh, hospitals, sports clinics, non-government organization, and all the way to national games and Olympic level games or athletes. So, um, one of the cool features for us is having placements at various settings, working with elite athletes or in sports hospitals or centers or institutes that get the students to expose in working with different populations at different levels of rehab. Um, in the past few years, um, Amy had students and herself travel into the particip participating in the Olympics since 2000, 2008. Um, the program uh, rejuvenated and because of COVID, we couldn't do anything. We weren't really going out, but starting back in 2023, we got a chance to bring students back into overseas where they went to Melbourne to work with um, professional um, physio, working with sports teams. Um, that was one of the photos from 2023. Um, I myself had a chance to go to Asia Games last year in Hangzhou and work with the national judo team. And we're building these networks. And at the same time, because of these connections, our students get a chance to be able to work with these um, different levels of sports at the same time after even after graduation. In 2025, is a huge year for Hong Kong, as you some of you may know that the all Asian, uh, all China game is a part of it is hosted in Hong Kong. Um, I believe there's nine events here with us, uh, to name a few: golf, um, three on three basketball. I believe is here. A uh, handball is here. Um, horse racing. Um, and a few few more events. Um, they have been proposed that we do need um uh, about. 70 to 80 sports physios um, to help in um, all Asian games. So that will be a big event for us um, to organize. And hopefully we'll see some of you there. So the program is um, made out of three different um, sectors. Okay, um, as, fit all, as you are all physios, um, everything is evidence-based practice. So um, the under need for search for information, scientific knowledge and professional knowledge is all very important. These are the courses that you will take and will need to take to get through the program. To go into a bit more in detail, there is two um, courses that is under evidence-based practice, which is the research methods and data analysis. Um, at the end of your graduation, um, there's a mini project study that you would need to do that is a bit different than your undergraduate level, like a final year project. It must be a um, scientific study of some sort related into sports. 
Um, so you do take an advanced level of research methods um, in first semester. So then not only refresh your memories from bachelor level, but in a higher and a postgraduate level of what um, type of research methods that you might need to understand to build on to your project study. Um, there's our foundation courses, contemporary issues in exercise science and exercise prescription. This is a very unique course that um, I find it, we push towards all different types of exercise physiology and exercise science up, um, up to date and all the excess prescription to different populations or understanding, as I mentioned, for the society needs. So um, not only to the elites in the strengthening and conditioning sector, but all the way to special population, like I mentioned, Paralympics, women's in health, and all of that. So extra, exercise training is important, and exercise we use exercise means as rehab as number one treatment. So this is a very important course that would give you a foundation in different exercise prescription to different rehab programs. You also need to have a good understanding of musculoskeletal uh, injury and repair. So this is a course that um, develops principles in biomechanics and physiology and physical diagnosis and treatment of musculoskeletal injuries. For the clinical um, aspect of the study, I think um, this is the first one. As you see, diagnostic procedures in musculoskeletal physiotherapy is also a unique feature of our um, program. Uh, we use different diagnostic tools in MSK PT to look for injuries, um, and which is not really taught in um, undergraduate level. So um, physio now um, in the world have the chance and ha has the knowledge to back up using different imaging system for diagnosis. And this is one of the few programs that do introduce diagnostic procedures into PT. And um, we get to access different types like such as ultrasound. It's a big one um, that we can do and look at our patients and understand how that can put into our practice for diagnostic that diagnosis. Now there's two sports physio related um, courses under this uh, to build your clinical uh, knowledge, preparing you to go into the field. So the theory and practice of phys sports physiotherapy and advanced practice and clinical integration in sports physiotherapy. So the first one is the principles of sports injury, uh, principles on um, prevention and rehab, and then moving on to specific um, musculoskeletal problems, what you work with in the peripheral joints and the spine. Finally, as oops, as I mentioned, um, the one of the best feature we have is the variety in um, the different field placements that we have. So in clinical practice one, um, you will definitely get into uh, touch on some on-field uh, physio work and um, going through some working in different sports uh, rehab clinics. Um, Hong Kong Sports Institute is our partner and we work closely with them. Every every cohort, we send students over to have um, weeks of uh, placements there, depending on the schedule. Um, in clinical practice too, um, Definitely uh, different sports uh, clinics in Hong Kong as well. And also, if you have a chance, get, get being lucky to get selected to go into overseas placement to look at other different type of sports um, rehab and support that we have uh, partner with. Um, University of um, South Wales in Australia is another partner of ours, uh, which we have linked up. We have three students that will be going there to their affiliated sports clinics. Um, to do their placements. So you need to complete 144 hours of this. Um, and that's, uh, will be a very fruitful time um, for you to experience sports physiotherapy. Now, um, the course is taken into full-time and part-time. Um, so for full-time, if you can get through this, you can get through everything in one year in the most compacted way. Um, 
I would say technically, if you're still going to work, you might be able to do this, but it's really packed because you go to class like every night, more or less. So it's quite exhausting. Um, so for people, uh, a lot of the locals do end up ticking into the part-time system. But in full time, these are the requirements that you need to fulfill. Uh, you have uh, three, seven, eight courses, um, eight core courses, and then project studies that you go through in three semesters. Now, this is the easier route um, for part time. Um, you pull it into two years to complete. Complete the core courses um, in first year, and you complete your placements and your project studies in second year. Um, some people might take a bit longer. We do have the flexibility for people to extend to a third semester in year two because they need some a bit more time to complete their project studies, so that's okay as well. But um, generally speaking, uh, part-time students can complete the course within two years' time. Definitely everything is driven by research and um, the project study is a huge one for students to be able to participate in some of our research work. Um, back in two years ago, um, COVID was one of the things that was hitting the entire world and sports physio um, was a very important aspect to rehab and getting these people back into doing some exercises. So led by Professor Amy Fu and our um, bachelor program leader, um, Dr. Ar Wong, came up with a uh, PolyU eight form exercise that was promoted during COVID time, uh, which we were really proud to see um, significant changes for these people coming out of rehab um, for COVID, how to get them back to doing some simple exercises. We also work with the Paralympic Committee and we are creating a database uh, using big data um, to do Paralympic classification. This is still an ongoing project, so um, there's chances that you can participate in some of these research as you go through with our project studies. So for entrance requirements, um, you definitely need a bachelor degree in physiotherapy um, and so something that is related to that. Um, bachelor degree in rehab discipline. We do prefer people having at least one year post qualification work experience coming into taking um, the program. Um, however, we we do have taken, uh, we have taken new grads that are very dedicated and with really high um, academic um requirement or high academic standings, a performance in the bachelor level. Uh, so it is not impossible, but we do prefer you to work a bit to understand um, uh, working, especially working in the sports sector. So that's their entry level requirement. Um, and for bachelor's degree, not in English, please follow the PolyU English language uh, requirement. So you have to have your total or IELTS score so you can check out the postgraduate admission requirements if your bachelor degree was not in English. This is a fun type as uh, self-finance. Okay. Um, you have to complete 31 credits required for graduation. And the deadline for the coming cohort 2025 is uh, April 30th for both local and non-local students. And so if you have any questions, you can email Dr. Uh, Professor Amy Fu. That's her contact. You can take a photo of the screen. And if you have any general matters um, about uh, our department, and you can contact our general office. And for more information, you can find um, them uh, on our website under postgraduate studies. Um, and yeah, if you also have any questions out, we can chat or you can also email me. So yeah, uh, the floor is yours. If you have any questions, you can throw your hand or type a message and I can answer you quickly.
Okay. Any question from the floor? Demo Mantaya. Um, we usually take about 20 students a year, 20 to 30. It really depends on the year of applicants. Uh, so yeah, around that. The question is how many students this major is expected to enroll. So say 20 to 30. Any more questions? Well, I think if not, then we can wrap up here yeah we still have a few minutes so for those who are still here welcome to ask so Yep, so for more information, you can definitely jump onto a, our webpage to check out any um, of how the enrollment and more things. But if you have any more personal questions, I think best if you email us about your situation. Uh, we're always happy to answer you. So uh, I can quickly show you our website. This is our, can you see that? Hold on, sorry. Yep. So this is our website. You can go into PolyU and Google Masters of Science in Sports Physiotherapy, and you can find out our curriculum entrance requirement on all of that. So increase. And you can also find the contact for Amy. And if you want to contact me directly, you can find me through people under academic staff. So, yeah. Thank you all for attending. Oh, oh there's a question. Sorry. 哦,二沙,提二,十二。啊,对。哦,是啊,应该是有的。现在我,呃,是,呃,Amy还跟二沙中心还有合作的。所以他有PhD 在后面，所以嗯，这个也是另外另外一个opportunity，机会可以跟嗯，complete um, your clinical placement，你实习的时间也可以在这样做，哪里做的。
Okay, thank you. Any more questions? Yeah, I'll wait two more minutes. If you can think of any questions, just let me know right here. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Okay, I think um, I we will finish the session here. So if you have any more questions, like I said, you can email us, uh, email Amy or email me. You can find us on the website. Okay, thank you all for coming. Thank you for coming. Okay, bye bye.